One of the lawmakers here, uh, Abdul Razak Namdas, he was in the 8th Assembly, was a spokesman of the 8th Assembly, and he's here uh, to speak to us on that. Honorable Namdas, uh, yes. thank you for speaking to us. Now, let's just go straight to the main issue on yeah. ground. Uh, there are allegations that your party uh, is uh, sharing 10,000 naira to some lawmakers to vote for uh, the Femi Wase uh, partnership. Well, I'm very, very, very surprised uh, to say that uh, we've been given uh, uh, some money to vote. I think uh, with due respect, uh, I think we have passed this stage. We are legislators, people that have been elected to serve this country, and we are doing that with all honesty, dedication, and uh, vote buying in Nigeria is a crime, not just even in the National Assembly, anywhere. This is a campaign that has been going on, and we are the ones even uh, talking about it too. Uh, we have not been given any amount of money. If there are people who are, so, who are really worried that they are going to lose an election, uh, they should be ready to lose an election. But I'm telling you, what is happening here is that we are going to vote our conscience, and we vote the leaders we believe that we emerge. And uh, so nobody should be telling us that uh, uh, we have been given any amount of money. I am not. Nobody gave us any. How about the issue of cards? Uh, that we understand that some cards were shared uh, to some of your members and who will be voting for these uh, Femi Wasi I, I am surprised. I, I don't know. You don't vote with the cards. There are ballot papers everywhere in the world. Ballot papers exist. And you don't even have access to those ballot papers. But if there are cards, membership cards of a, a political party, it's not the wrong thing. If I have a membership card of Femi Bajamila, it's not the wrong thing. But for, to cast vote, there are public papers, you don't even have access to it. So how can you even get a card in advance to start voting? It doesn't make sense. What makes sense is that uh, you go in the full glare of the people, your name will be called, you have an agent who will be watching over you, and they give you a ballot paper, and you cast your vote. So if somebody said you have a card, will the card call you, is it the ballot paper? Does the card qualify you to go and cast your vote? It doesn't make sense. I think for me, I, that is a different thing altogether. Is, is it now settled as to whether we would have the open or the closed uh, ballots? Uh, well, I, I, anything happens. I have had some court cases yesterday. I am not sure what is happening because I'm not the umpire, but uh, I used to know that in the House of Representatives we used to do secret but, uh, balloting for us, uh, whether it is secret or open. We are confident that we will emerge here today, so we are not worried about it. Honorable Namdas, thank you so much for speaking with us.